Welcome to the homework for Lesson 26, Grade 1, Module 1. Name first, please, always, because you won't remember to do it later. And we're using number paths to count and solve subtraction. And there's a couple of things I would like to say about using number lines and number paths. They can be tricky. Um, what we're trying to find is the difference between these two numbers. So we have two numbers we're subtracting. We have a menu end to start out with and we're subtracting. The number we subtract we call a subtrahend. And we're trying to figure out how far apart are these numbers. And a lot of times when you start thinking about how far apart these numbers are, you look at the 3, you look at the 5, and there's one number in between. You might think, well, then they're one apart. But if you see the picture up here, really what we have to do is count you have to count the number that you're trying to get to also. So you, <clears throat> if you think of it as addition, right? if you start at the 3, what do you have to add to get to 5? You have to add 1 to get to the 4 and another 1 to get to the 5. So you, it's 2. They're, so they're really 2 apart. And if you think of it this way, think of this end of the 3 and this end of the 5, and you had to go 2 squares. So they're really two apart. So it's two. So I have to add two to three to get to five. They're two apart. And these numbers are all going to be small single digit numbers. They're close together. And I'm just going to use, I'm going to use the number line for all these. Eight minus six. So for that one, we would start at the six right here. And how far away is the 8? It's 1, 2. 2 away. 7 minus 4. So if we count up from the 4 to the 7, start at the 4, it's 1, 2, 3. We had to count up. And show this on the number line. Draw those little hoppy arrows. Shows how you did it. 8 minus 2. So then we're going to start at the 2 and count up all the way up to the 8 and see how many it took. And that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There's 6 apart from each other. And 9 minus 6. So if we start at the 6 here, we have to go 1, 2, 3 more to get to the 9. So that's 3 more. So 9 and 6 are 3 apart from each other. And you can count this up in your head. Once once you get better at it, um, for the number lines, you could think if you're counting up from from the six, you think seven, eight, nine. So if you're going to count up to do this kind of subtraction, be careful that you don't start at the six, because remember the first like for this one here, you're going to start at the six, but you don't count the six. You count the seven when you get to it, and you count the eight when you get to it, and you count the nine when you get to it. So you're not going to count. Six, seven, eight, nine, that would be four. It's seven, eight, nine, and that's three. So if you're counting up in your head or you're using your fingers to count up, then be careful that you don't start on the wrong number. It's how many more we're adding. And you don't want to count the number you already have as part of what you're adding. I hope that makes sense. So if we have six, how many do we have to add to it to get to eight? That's one, two more. And we can start using a different color here just so you can see it. And if we start at four here and we want to get to seven, we need one, two, three more to get to seven. And there's two more here for you to practice on your own. Make your own up right here. Just pick any two numbers and see how far apart they are. And write an addition, either an addition here with a missing add end, like with one of the numbers like that, or you know, you, you know you're just gonna have to write the whole equation, so it doesn't matter. If you're gonna do an addition, then write an addition sentence here and try a subtraction one here. Do one of each.
lesson 26. We're still doing page, this is page two, and we use, use the number path to solve. So we want to see this marked up a lot with your pencil. All right, and you're going to see me mark it up too, so you're going to see how to do it. Match the addition sentence that can help you. All right, so here we have a subtraction equation, and here's the addition sentence that can help us they're not always going to be right next to each other. We're going to see all of them here. So this has a 6 and a 4. Hmm. Which one of these has a 6 and a 4? Well, this has a 6 and a 4, and so does that one. But it can't be both of them. Which one would it be? Well, we're figuring out 6 minus 4. Let's use the number path to solve it. That's what we have to do anyway, right? So if we start at the 4 and we go up to the 6, it takes 1, 2 more to get to the 6. So they're 2 apart. And now we have a 6 and a 4 and a 2. So we know which one it is now. It's this one down here, and that matches. So that's how you do these. Uh, now that you've seen one, you can pause the video and... Try and figure out the rest for yourself, and then come back and check and watch how I do it. If you need another example, keep watching. All right, uh, nine minus five. So if we start at the, we start at the five. We want to see how far apart nine and five are. So let's start. We can start at the nine and count backwards to the five, but it usually it's, for most of us it's easier to count up than to count backwards. So let's start at the five and count up to the nine. One, two three, four. They're four apart. So which addi addition sentence goes with the five, the four, and the nine? This one right here has the five and the four added together to make the nine, which is kind of how we counted on the number line, right? We started with a four. We went up five more, so that's four plus five more, and it equals nine. That's where we stopped. So 10 minus six. Doing this one right now. 10 minus 6. So we can start at the 6 and we'll go up 1, 2, 3, 4. It's 4 more. And if you know your parts to 10, you can probably see this coming that if this is one of the parts, you know the 4 has to be the other. And now we know which one this guy goes to. If these are the two parts of 10, if you take one, if you take one of the parts away, you should have the other one left. And if you take the two parts and you add them together, you should get the total. You get the number the number 10 back again when you put it back together. And now the last one, you know which one it's going to match with now because there's only one left. So we can just do that. And there's another one with parts of 10. So you might just know this one. 7, 8, 9, 10. They're 3 apart. 7 and 3 make 10. And our last one, we have an addition. It says write an addition and subtraction number sentence for the number bond. And you can use the number path to solve. So here we have number bond with an 8 for a total and 3 is one of the parts. So the addition sentence is going to look like this. 3 plus, we don't know what that missing part is, but we know the total is 8, right? And if it's subtraction, 8 is going to be our minuend, because that's going to be always that's the largest number, right? It's going to be the same as a total in, uh, in addition. But our minuend is always going to be the largest number, because once we start subtracting from it, it's going to get, all the other numbers are going to be smaller. We can take away this 3, because that's the only other number we have, and then what's left is going to be the other part. If we take away one part, then that's the other part is what's left. So let's figure out what that part is. We can use the number line for it. If we start at the 3 and count up to the 8, we'll know how far apart they are. So there's the 3, 4, 5, it's, okay, so it's, hold on a second, 3, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, ah, let me start over here. My pen kind of gave out on me. Starting up the 3 and we're going up to the 8, right, we're stopping at the 8 because that's the total. 1, 2, 3, Four, five, so we know we need five more to get to the eight, and we also know because of that there are five. They are five apart, and then five is the other part in the number bond. That's how we finished it. So now we have nine 
and 3, right? So if we start with 3, we're going to add something to it, and it's going to equal 9 for a total. And we also know that if we start with 9 and we take 3 away from it, it's going to equal the difference between 3 and 9. So what is the difference? How far apart are they? Start at the 3, and we're going to count up to the 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. They are 6 apart. And you might have been able to guess this. You notice the difference here is that three, if 3 and 5 is 8, 3 and 6, 6 is 1 more than 5, so the total should be 1 more, right? So if we have the same part and the total is 1 more, then the other part has to be 1 more. That's something you just might notice that. And we're done.